So today, normally we'll start in a seated meditation, but today I thought Friday we'd feel more exciting, do something a little bit different. Let's start in a standing meditation. It can be in this open um, posture, or it can be in a Tadasana, mountain pose, feet together, hands, palms forward, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Just close your eyes. Start to enter your body, enter our practice together. Feel your breath, the way it travels through your nose all the way down to your stomach region. Maybe even to your hips. And all the way back out. Feel how your upper body inflates with every inhale and deflates with every exhale. Connecting to what's happening in your body as you breathe deeply. You can physically channel the weight bearing in your feet and your base. Maybe feeling if one side is weight bearing a little bit more or a little bit less. If you're standing more in the weight of your toes or more in the weight of your heels. Checking your hip alignment as well. Make sure your hips aren't tilted too far forward. Coming into a mini back bend. Try to scoop the hips up a little bit back, doing a pelvic tilt backwards. Getting those hips nice and even, stomach and lower back aligned, not one higher than the other. And we'll take a couple deep breaths here in silence, feeling whatever we need to feel, thinking whatever we need to like to set an intention for your practice today now would be a beautiful moment it can be whatever you want maybe something you want to work on specifically today or in general in your life open the eyes, returning back to our practice, coming out of the inner body awareness. And we'll start a little warm up of the joints, starting with circles of the neck. Feel free to always close your eyes at any point in the practice where you feel you want to go a little bit deeper within. Connecting your breath with your movement. Breathing deeply through the nose. And to the opposite direction. From here we'll come into some shoulder circles Going to the back. Again, connecting with your breath. And try to really feel this shoulder stretch all the way from your feet, pressing into your feet, bending into your knees and rising up. Instead of just keeping it isolated here in the shoulders, let's really bring in our whole bodies here. Deep breaths. And 
coming forward. And we'll start to do some arm circles. Forward. Backwards. Bringing the hands to the hips. Now we're going to come into some juicy hip circles. Feel free to maybe widen your stance to get in there real deeply or just at your neutral hips, maybe a little bit wider stance, whatever feels comfortable for you today. Making nice big hip circles. And to the other direction. And we'll come down to the ankles, starting with the right foot, some ankle circles. Opposite direction. We're going to turn that right foot over, coming to the top of the foot. And we're going to bend in our standing leg now to get a little bit deeper into the front of the foot. Try to make sure that your foot stays in the direction forward and doesn't twist out to the sides. You can place your hands on your hips or out to the sides. Already here, we're working on a little bit of balance. And coming back up, switching sides. Circles on the left. Changing direction. Flipping the foot over, coming onto the top of the foot, bending in your standing leg. Hands either on the hips or the sides. And coming back up, let's shake it out. Let that energy be activated throughout the whole body, whatever you need to shake, maybe shaking out a leg, maybe shaking out an arm, or everything at the same time. Let's get those Friday energies up. And we'll come to the top of our mat to start our Hatha Sun Salutations. Big toe to big toe. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, coming to the ground, forward full. Gonna bring that left leg all the way back, coming into a nice deep lunge. Inhale, look up, open your throat, open your shoulders back, your heart forward. Coming back to plank for a moment. Here you can choose um, throughout our sun salutations to come down in chaturanga, uh, eight limb pose, or maybe going back down to a child pose. Whatever variation you choose, we're gonna meet in Cobra. So exhale, and inhale into your Cobra. In the Cobra, we're pressing up to our hands, bringing our shoulders away from our ears. Elongating the spine, don't compress backwards. Elongate first and then start to bend. Coming back onto your toes, exhale into your downward dog. First downward dog of the day, so let's take it easy, maybe bending the knees a bit, shaking it out, warming up those hamstrings, maybe walking out the legs. In our downward dog, we want to make sure our legs, our hips distance, arms are shoulder distance. Externally rotate your shoulders if you can, if that makes sense to you. We want to 
really just twist the shoulders outwards. We want to make sure also that our spines are very long here. So if you feel like you're curving in the back of it, so bend the knees, push off the hands and get that nice long spine. The legs aren't so important here, the spine is. We'll look forward and come out the way we came in. Left leg comes all the way forward in between the hands. Dropping the hips down, inhale, look up into your low lunge. Big toe to big toe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, rest, samastitihi. Right side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Right leg comes back. Inhale, look forward. Back to plank. Choose your variation. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look forward. Bring that right leg through the hands. If it doesn't get all the way, you can help the leg come forward a bit more. Drop the hips. Inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Samastitihi. Beautiful. Again. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg back. Inhale, look up. Open that throat chakra. Back to plank. Choose your variation, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, left leg comes in between the hands. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Right side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Right leg comes back. Inhale, look up. Back to plank. Choose your variation. Inhale, meeting cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Look forward. Right leg comes all the way through. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastitihi. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. Left leg all the way back. Look up, inhale. Back to plank. Choose your variation, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, left leg comes all the way through the hips. Drop the right knee, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastitihi. Last one, go as deep as you can. Inhale up. Exhale forward, right leg back, drop the hips low, inhale, look up, back to plank, choose your variation, exhale, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog, look forward, right leg comes in between the hands, drop the hips, inhale, look up, big toe to big toe, exhale, Inhale, rise. Exhale, samastitihi, rest. Beautiful. Come to the middle of your mat for a moment. Open your hands, open your arms, close your eyes. Feel the energy rushing through your body. Six rounds of postures. To stretch out our whole body to warm up our whole system. See if you can breathe so deeply that maybe your heartbeat slows down.
Beautiful. And enter a little balancing. Stepping onto your left leg, getting it really grounded. You can physically press on the leg, mentally think this foot is glued to the ground. Whatever you need to do so that that foot is so grounded like a tree rooting into the ground. We really want this foot to be planted onto the ground. It's not just there for no reason. We want to activate the whole entire foot before we balance on it. And we'll slowly lift the right leg, knee to chest for a moment. Just feeling our balance on our left legs for a second. You bring your hands to your hips, hold the knee. From here, we'll bring the leg back, grabbing the foot from the inside by the big toe. Taking a moment here to really stretch that quadricep, maybe pulling the leg a little bit closer to the body. You want you can take both hands for a moment and get really deep there if that's comfortable from here we'll bring the left hand up by our ears you can have it just wide open or maybe in a chin mudra thumb and index touching and from here we'll slowly start to lean forward and as we lean forward our leg and our back hand will come up You'll kick into your right hand with your uh, right foot and slowly start to lean forward. Now it doesn't mean to go forward all the way. It means to keep moving slowly while you still have your balance, while you still have your center strength activated. And that left hand is reaching forward, also active. Beautiful. One more deep breath. From here, bend in the left knee a bit, your standing leg. Feel a little bit more grounded. And we'll bring that left hand all the way down to the floor, still holding our right foot. You can stay bent, or you can try to slowly extend, maybe straightening in your standing leg, maybe kicking up into your hand a bit more. Now we're in sugar cane pose. Breathe deeply. Slowly bringing the upper knee back to center, bending in the left knee. We're gonna come up with control. Inhale as you rise. Bring that knee back to chest, heart to center, hands heart to, to heart center. And exhale, right leg back to earth. Beautiful. So proud of you guys. Opposite side. Grounding in that right foot. Pressing it into the ground, mentally and physically. Preparing us for some challenging balancing postures. From here, we're gonna bring that left leg all the way to our chest for a second, feeling our balance on our right side. Checking to see any differences. Maybe you felt more balanced on the left. Maybe you feel more balanced on the right. You bring hands to hips. And slowly we'll bring that left leg back, grabbing from the inside by the big toe. Taking a moment to get that nice quadricep stretch on the front thigh. You can take both hands to the foot for a moment if you wanna go a little bit deeper here. And we'll bring the left hand by the big toe again. Bring that right hand up by your ear, either palms open or in chin mudra, thumb and index together. And we'll slowly start to inch forward, kicking that left leg into that left hand. Dancer pose, Natarajasana in Sanskrit. Breathing deeply, pressing into your standing foot, all four corners. Last deep breath here. 
We'll bend in our standing leg slightly to allow us to controllingly come to the ground with our right hand. You can stay with bent, uh, with the bent standing leg or try to extend, kicking into that hand like we just did in our dancer pose, coming into sugar cane. Breathe deeply. Focus on one point, your drishti, helping you balance and find focus. Slowly bend in that standing leg. Inhale as you rise, swing that left leg back forward to your chest, hands to heart center. Exhale, drop the foot slowly. Beautiful. <laughs> Coming to the top of your mat, Gonna bring that left leg all the way back. Coming into a nice wide stance. Gonna enter the goddess posture. A beautiful posture, bending the knees, making sure that your knees are in line with your toes, not coming inwards. Super important. Protect the knees. If you need to close the ankle a bit to get that, that's okay. Once you find your leg um, organization. <laughs> Inhale the hands up. You can bring the hands together or open. Spread those fingers out. Feel your inner goddess. Beautiful Friday goddesses. Make sure your stomach and your lower back are activated, not coming into a back bend. Really tucking in that stomach, tucking in those ribs. Pelvic tilt forward and sinking again. You can put your hand, one hand on your stomach and one hand on your back to really feel that movement coming from this to this. Beautiful. Take an inhale, rise with those hands together. Exhale, we're gonna bring the hands by our sides, 90 degrees, coming into cactus hands. Cactus hands looks like this, about 90 degrees outwards. And we're gonna open them backwards as if we want our shoulder blades to touch in the back. Still preserving that active core in the center. It doesn't mean we're coming into a back bend. The hips and the, and the core are still activated. Beautiful. Inhale back up, thumbs touch. Exhale, shoulder blades. Inhale, thumbs touch. Exhale, shoulder blades back. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, we're gonna take one big inhale, hands up. Straighten those legs. Exhale, coming down into a wide angle fold. We're gonna externally rotate our heels here so that our toes are facing more inside now. Coming into a wide fold, feel free to bring your hands in between your legs, or maybe grabbing the legs, or behind your back in a shoulder stretch variation, whatever feels best for you today in this moment. If your head is touching the ground, that's nice, but let's try to work on this straight spine here. So if you wanna close your legs a bit here, and that same intention of getting the head to the ground, except we're working with the straighter spine now. Really tilting from the hips, not curving too much in the shoulders to get our head closer. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna slowly walk our hands to our left leg and we're gonna hug it. Really try to grab that leg and bring your forehead to the shin or to the knee. From here, we're gonna bring our hand all the way to the left side, turning towards our left foot, coming into a low lunge, like in our sun salutations. Beautiful. Look up. Open that throat. Open that heart. Open your shoulders. Breathe. 
breathe deeply. From here we'll come up onto our knees. You can keep your hands onto your knees or maybe rise the hands up if you feel balanced and stable. Breathing deeply. Again, try to activate that core pelvic tilt forward, protecting your lower back. Slowly drop the hands back to floor. Bring your weight to your back leg, coming into a half split. In our half splits, the left leg will be straight and flexed. The back leg will just be on the ground as our standing leg. Inhale, look forward, straight spine. Exhale, inch forward, compressing down. You know, you can work with a straight spine here. Stay looking forward and just try to get your belly to that thigh. Or you can fold all the way, head to knee. Whatever you prefer to work on today. Getting that nice juicy half split. From here we'll add some movement. Walking the fingers forward. Inhale, look up into your low lunge. Exhale, walk the fingers back, head to knee, half splits. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale as you go back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. We're gonna come forward to our low lunge. Lift up in that back leg. Turn the feet forward, coming back into our hugging our left leg wide fold. Walk the fingers forward. Look forward, straight back. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna walk our hands to the right foot now, hugging the right foot. Really grab that right foot. Make sure your toes are towards the center of the mat, not externally rotated. Hugging that right leg. Maybe coming into a bit more of a twist, looking up towards the sky. From here, we'll turn all the way to our right side. Dropping the left leg, coming into our low lunge, just like we did before. Taking a moment here, with the hands still on the ground, opening the shoulders back, peeling the heart forward, looking up towards the sky. And if you can rise here to your knee now, if that's comfortable, or you can stay on the ground. Taking a moment here to really tilt those hips, hips forward, making sure to protect the spine. Don't just sink and come into this nice, beautiful back bend. I know it's beautiful, but we want to protect those lower backs and activate those cores. And inhale the hands up. If you feel balanced. You can look up towards your fingertips or forward. And exhale, all the way down. Leaning back towards your back leg, coming into your half splits. Right leg is flexed, left leg is strongly standing or kneeling. Inhale, straight back, look forward. Exhale, lower down. We wanna work either from a straight spine we're just folding forward, nice and cozy and comfy. Keeping that right leg, leg flexed the whole time. Breathe deeply.
From here, we'll add some movement. Walking the fingers forward into your low lunge. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walking the fingers back. Head to knee, half splits. Inhale, forward. Exhale, backwards. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back forward into our lunge. Lifting up onto that back leg. Hugging that right leg, twisting the toes forward. Coming back forward into your wide angle fold. We'll take a moment here with our hands behind our back, coming into a nice shoulder stretch. Really allow the hands to fall behind you. Bring the hands back down to the ground. And we'll jump the feet back together. And inhale, rise. Exhale, samastitihi, rest. Beautiful. From here, we'll inhale the, hand, inhale the hands up. Exhale, we're gonna squat down, keeping the legs glued together, coming into a toe balance. Slowly moving with control, making sure to activate that core. Don't come into a back bend. Hands are still up. Slowly come onto your toes. Heels are off the ground in your toe balance. Slowly bring the hands to heart center. You can close your eyes here if you want an extra challenge. Keeping the heels together, knees together. Breathing deeply. And slowly drop the hands to the ground and come into your seat. We'll bring the feet together, coming into a Baddha Konasana. Bound angle, butterfly, cobbler's pose, it has many names. Feet together and first we're gonna bring them as close as possible. And after we'll bring them a bit further in front of us to see the difference in where we feel the stretch. So really bring the feet as close as you can to your hips. Take your hands behind you for a moment to elongate the spine, open the heart. Close your eyes, breathe deeply. Feel your heart open, your ribs expanding outwards and compressing inwards. We'll slowly remove the hands while still trying to maintain that nice open heart and straight spine. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward into your forward fold in the bound angle. You can stay up here and work on this with a straight spine, which is always good for the lower back. Or you can come forward at your comfortable and appropriate edge. Maybe on your elbows. Maybe resting your head on your hands, smelling your feet, telling your feet that you love them, or standing on them all day long. <laughs> Breathing deeply here, feeling this really nice inner thigh stretch. Close your eyes and really channel what's happening in your body here, where you feel the stretch.
We always want to feel a nice comfortable pull, maybe a little bit discomfort because we're out of our comfort zone, but never pain. So if you ever feel pain, just come a little bit back out of the posture. Find your comfortable edge where you feel a deep stretch, but never pain. Slowly we'll come back up and we'll bring the feet forward now, like I mentioned before, coming into this nice open bound angle. Inhale the hands up, exhale come back down. You should now feel the stretch on your outer thighs, a little bit different, maybe a little bit more sensitive. So again, come to your comfortable edge, bring your hands wherever they feel comfortable and breathe there, work from there. Use your breath as a tool. Every inhale, it's good to lengthen, it's good to open your posture more with your heart. Every exhale, going a little bit deeper into the posture, your body allows it, your body makes space for it. When we exhale, our body is relaxed. So the muscles are a, more open to movement, more elastic. So really use your breath as a tool. Slowly coming back up, feeling that nice juicy outer hip stretch. Going to enter a little bit deeper into the hips here. Bring that left leg forward in front of you, parallel to you. So it's straight out in front of you, maybe aligning with the line of your mat. And we're going to bring that right leg right on top of it, ankle to knee, knee to ankle in the fire log pose. So your legs should be stacked up right on top of each other, not inwards, like in a lotus or in a easy sitting posture. Right on top of each other. You should feel it real nice in the outer hips, just like we did in that more open bound angle, but a little bit deeper. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward. Maybe you can rest your hands on your legs, adding a little bit more pressure, but still feeling comfortable. You can drop the head here. Breathe deeply. If you feel like you can go deeper, you can bring your hands to the ground. Or you can just stay up here and feel this nice stretch at a gentle edge. Again, you can stay here at this gentle edge or come forward onto your elbows, onto the ground or just pressing on the knees slightly.
inhale, come up. Exhale, hands down, release your legs. Let's take a moment bringing the hands back behind you. Knees in front of you and we'll windshield wiper the knees side to side. Coming into a gentle twist here in the back, releasing in the hips. And coming back to center, we'll come into Gomukhasana, the cow face posture. So we'll bring that left leg forward with the knee facing forward now and the foot by our other leg, bringing the right leg on top. The knees, you can bring them in closer to you or bring them a bit out more if you want a more intense stretch here. Making sure that your knees are aligned. That's what's aligned in this posture. You wanna see the knees stacked on top of each other. And you also wanna make sure that your hips are aligned. We don't wanna be leaning too much to one side with our hips here. This posture is amazing for sciatic pain, any lower back pain. It really opens up that whole area externally. So we really like this pose. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, we're gonna grab that right elbow and really open up that shoulder for a moment before we move to the next step. You can always stay here in this posture. From here, we'll bring the left hand behind our backs and grab the opposite and grab the hands together. It will look like this. You can actively hold your hands together by keeping the hand, the palms straight, or you can passively do it by locking fingers. If you're not grabbing hands, you can just energetically pull the hands together or maybe grab the ends of your shirt and pull towards the shirt together. Or if you have a belt, a scarf, or a strap, you can also grab hold of that and inch the fingers closer and closer together. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can also come forward, bringing your belly to your thigh and your chest to your knee. Without folding completely here, we don't want to bring our head down as well. We want our backs to stay nice and straight here. So if you want a little bit more intensity, just come forward with your belly to your thighs. Slowly come back up. Inhale, unlock the arms, open them to the side, exhale, and let's switch legs. The right leg will be on the ground, knee facing forward. Left leg comes on top. And take a moment to align yourself, trying to get your knees stacked on top of each other and hips aligned and straight on the ground. And bring the feet closer to you or further from you, whatever feels more comfortable. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, grabbing that left elbow, taking a moment to really stretch deeply here, opening up that left shoulder, preparing us for the next step. Again, you can stay here as well. From here, we'll bring that right arm all the way behind, trying to grab fingers again. And you'll probably notice that one side is a little bit more open, a little bit more flexible than the other. Totally normal, it's like that for everybody. Just breathe deeply. Just being aware of the differences in the sides of your body without any judgment. 
just observation. Again, you can grab hold of your shirt, a strap, a scarf, if you're not holding fingers. And for a little bit more intensity, we can come forward, bringing the belly to thigh, maybe chest to knee, but don't drop the head, keeping that spine long. Slowly come back up. Inhale, open the hands slowly. Maybe you'll need to help that back hand a little bit to release. Exhale, hands to the ground. Release the legs. And we'll bring them forward now. Coming into a forward fold posture. We're gonna bring our hands behind our back. And inhale, coming in to a um, reverse tabletop. You can bring the feet a bit closer, if that's helpful. Reverse tabletop here, pressing into the hands, bringing the hips up as high as you can. Look up. You can inhale, lift a little bit higher the hips. Exhale, you can come down to the ground into a forward fold, bringing the hips in between your hands. Or for an extra challenge, you can swing the hips between your hands without actually sitting on the ground. Inhale, come back up to your tabletop. Exhale, coming through the hands or just coming to sit on the ground. Inhale up, tabletop. Exhale, push through the hands. Inhale up. Exhale, push through the hands. Last time, inhale up. Exhale. And come to your seat. And we'll lay on our back. Laying on the back now, bringing the knees about hips distance, facing forward parallel to each other. We're gonna come into a small bridge here, pressing into the hands. Inhale, lift the hips up, not too high yet. Trying to really press into the feet, activating the front side of your body and trying not to squeeze your glutes. Don't, don't squeeze your butt here. You wanna protect that lower back here and really open the front side of the body. So you can start raising a little bit, seeing if you're tensing up in the glutes and releasing. If you're capable of releasing, then maybe go up a bit higher. Again, see if you're squeezing the glutes and release. Rising and releasing. Rising and releasing. Find your edge where you feel you can get to the highest without squeezing your glutes and let's stay there. Press into your feet. Really activating those legs. Breathing deeply. And slowly lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. We'll come into a big wheel here now. If you're, it's not in your practice, then please do a small bridge again with the, the same thing we just did now. If you're feeling playful and warmed up, you can bring your hand by your head and slowly raise up into your wheel posture. Again, with the same intention like in the, in the bridge pose, we wanna press into our feet and release our glutes, protecting our lower back. So inhale, rise up either into your bridge or your wheel, pressing into your feet, 
releasing the glutes. Make sure your knees stay forward and don't open externally. Breathing deeply. Again, practicing to release those glutes. Open the front body. Then slowly lower down from your bridge or your wheel. And bring your knees to chest. You can come up squeezing your elbows head to knee. Complete flexion, hugging the whole body tightly together. Slowly release your head back down to the ground. We'll bring our arms to the sides, shoulder height, and draw some circles on the ceiling, massaging the lower back. If you entered the wheel posture, this will probably feel real nice after that. Anyways, it will feel real nice. <laughs> but after entering an intense back bend, we really want to give that back some extra love. And the opposite direction. in the practice, I'd like to invite you to come into whatever inversion um, you'd like to enter. It can be a shoulder stand, um, a headstand, a handstand, a forearm stand. If you're by a wall, you can practice with the wall or on your mat or just coming into maybe a bridge or a downward dog. Any pose where your heart is above your head for a couple breaths. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to go into headstand. So I will direct how to do that. If, you're, if you don't have it in your practice, but you want to try by a wall, you're welcome to do so carefully. Um, we're going to bring our hands to the ground, grab our elbows to make sure we're at the right distance here, open the palms forward, interlace your fingers. Slowly we're going to rise up, placing the top of our head, the crown of our head, into our hands. Rising up with our hips, as if we're in a downward dog and walking the feet towards our head until we feel our hips stack over our shoulders. You can also stay here and just practice this prep pose if you want to try working on your headstand. And slowly lift one leg. You can also stay here. If you have headstand in your practice, maybe lifting the other leg and meeting them at the top. Pressing into your elbows, opening the shoulders, don't compress in the shoulders. Breathing deeply, tucking in that stomach, tucking in those ribs, activating your core. One more deep breath in whatever inversion you're in. And slowly come out of your posture. We'll meet back on our backs from whatever inversion you chose to do. And for our last posture before we come into Shavasana, we'll come into a beautiful happy baby, grabbing the outside of our feet. The direction here is to pull the knees to the ground. You don't have to have straight legs, we want them to be bent. And the direction is pulling the knees to the ground, the palms of the feet are facing upwards. Keep that sacrum grounded on the ground, your lower back. Don't lift in the hips. And relax the head, the head should be relaxed on the ground. Beautiful, take a couple deep breaths here. This nice deep hip stretch, happy baby posture, Ananda Balasana in Sanskrit. 
Feel free to add a smile to your face. Feel and channel your inner happy baby. And we'll start to rock side to side. Breathing deeply. And smiling. On this beautiful Friday morning. So fun that it's sunny and not raining. And slowly release the legs, bringing them forward at the width of your mat or maybe a bit wider. Hands by your hips. Bring your shoulders away from your ears and back down to the ground. Tilt your chin a little bit closer to your chest, feeling your neck a little bit more on the ground. And breathe deeply, entering our Shavasana posture, the corpse pose. Completely surrendering to your body giving it this proper time to heal. Shavasana posture to me is like pressing save on an essay you've been working days, weeks, months, or years on, something you're really, really passionate about. And finally pressing save, making sure to store all that information, to keep it with you forever, make sure it's safe. So it's so important to do this posture after every practice, to press save on your practice, on your breath, on your body. feels nice, feeling your heartbeat, the power of your heart. And 
keeping the eyes closed now, just feeling. We'll use our hands to help us get up and come into a comfortable seated position. You can do whatever seated position you want. Keeping the eyes closed, just feeling what's going on inside, maybe the circulation flowing back down to your body after reclining for a bit. Return to your normal breath. Feel the length in your spine, your heart open, shoulders open. Face in your lungs and your chest for deep, full breaths. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope the rest of your day is beautiful, filled with happiness and light and positivity. Namaste.